surgery mug. <gasps> Hello, everybody. Oh my goodness. Hopefully this will work today. Um, I just realized my skin looks so blotchy. Oh God, I just got out of the pool with my son. It is summer break and we've been having some fun in the pool and it's sunny. And I don't look blotchy in my mirror, but on here I do. And I didn't do any makeup. I did a little bit of mascara, but no other makeup because it's summer. And we have other fun stuff to do later, so. Hey, Sarah. Okay, so. How are you guys doing? Hey, Kate. While you guys are filling in, um, I'm gonna take a sip of my water. Hey, Nikki. Um, I'm super excited to um, introduce you to another member of our, I hear, I see her, of our Team Serendipity UK team um, from the Harmony Hive. This is a brand new team that is starting in the United Kingdom. Hey, Jane. And so I wanted to bring these ladies on one by one and introduce you to them because I have fallen in love with these girls and I want you to know more about them and about their journeys. So, um, you were watching Eastenders. <laughs> I'm going to have to Google that and check it out and see for myself if <laughs> what we were talking about earlier. Okay. So real quick, I just want to say that our catalogs are gorgeous. I got this in when I came back from um, London with these ladies. It is really, it's the prettiest one we've ever had. Super excited. If anybody wants one, just let me know. Um, all right, I am going to bring Miss Maxine Reed on. I just have to go up here and find her, comment, and bring her on. Let's hope that it works. I'm in horizontal position. Maxine, make sure your camera is horizontal, okay? Otherwise it won't work. Okay, here we go. Bring Maxine. <laughs> it just doesn't work. Maybe it's one of those things where you guys have to add me because it worked when Sarah added me yesterday. I don't know. I'm, I'm praying to the Facebook gods that this is going to work. <laughs> Dang it. <laughs> It's just blinking, adding. Maybe I can't add you. Maybe you have to add me. I don't know. Is that there it? There she is. Oh my God, hold on. It's quiet. Let me see if I can turn it up. I'm not quiet. Does that work? Am I here? You're there. You're here. Hello. Hello. <laughs> it worked. We did it. I've locked myself out in our annex and lock the door so no one can come in. <laughs> you know, it's so funny because Sarah went in her car yesterday to get peace and quiet. And I remember the days when my children were young and I would lock, like I would go into my closet, turn the light off and get on the floor just to talk to my sister on the phone. That's the only way I could get peace and quiet. <laughs> it's wherever you go. And my kids aren't little, but wherever you go, they find you. They do. They absolutely do. <laughs> You. So you. thank you so much for joining. Um, I apologize for my appearance. I just got out of the pool. I managed to get my hair washed, not dried, and a little mascara, and that's it. You look glowing. <laughs> you look really glowy. Thank you. Thank you. Um, I'm so thrilled that you're here. So I want everyone to know who's watching that it is 3 o'clock Central Time here in Nashville, Tennessee. It's 9 p.m. in the U.K., and um, so it's kind of a tricky time, I know, for you and your family going through bedtime and after dinner and all of that. So I really appreciate you being um, being here and being available. And it gets dark. <laughs> as yes. <Sarah> found out. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes, it does. Um, so we had an amazing time uh, last weekend at um, the 360 Thrive. It was just the most phenomenal experience. I just wanted to, to get you on here and introduce you to my network. And I would love for you just to tell everyone a little bit about yourself, your family life, your background, your job, and how you um, how you came to the decision to partner with Lime Life. Okay, so my name is Maxine Reed, and I have four children, but they're not very little. My eldest is twenty one soon. Um, I do a few hours a week in a preschool. I have. 
a sausage dog, a very cute little dog. Um, my husband works really long hours and we don't see a great deal of him. So I am basically mum's taxi and everything else that that entails. So myself and Sarah, who you met yesterday, and Leanne, we have worked, and Danny, we've worked together before. Um, and the last company we were with, we we really liked and we all did really well with, but they had legal issues and they stopped trading for a year. So we were had all sorts of promises made in that year, but whilst we were in that downtime, we found Limelight as it was. And Sarah in particular, obviously started talking to you. And then when our old company came back and the promises that we had been made clearly weren't gonna happen, um, we kind of started looking at Limelight again and we were messing, messaging each other little pictures and it was a bit like having an affair. We were like, oh my God, look, they've got this. Oh my God, look, they've got that old, isn't that lovely? Um, and all the things that we, that was missing from our old company was with Limelight as was. And then obviously Laurie messaged um, Sarah and said, you never guess what? we're coming to the UK and it was an absolute no-brainer total we were on board we would have jumped in there and then and that was, was that February March time <laughs> in terms of actually okay. yeah hello um I think it was February, March time that we made the decision, but I think you'd been speaking to Sarah way longer than that. Um, well, yes. Um, actually, Sarah and I started talking in March of 2017. So a whole so year before. A whole year we've been speaking. And, yeah. um, and it, it was so funny because I wanted to know, so I would scroll back up to the first message we ever she ever sent me, and it was in March, and I thought, that's so crazy. The same, yeah. the same time a year before but, um, but that is when your company had to lay down for a bit. And so that made sense. But yeah. it all just sort of happened. I mean, you know, had we not partnered with L'Occitane and they helped us go global, we would not be speaking right now. No. So it feels like everything that went before has led us here. So, you know, since we made the decision, you know, we've obviously been very much supported by you. We have built teams, we've learned products, it's, yeah. And then last week was just the icing on the cake for us. Absolutely yeah. mind blowing. Well, okay, so I, I would love to know what you went into that training thinking you were going to get and what you actually walked out with. Well, I assumed that the training would be products, sales, comp plan very business like um we got a little bit of comp plan which was very useful but 75 mm, percent of it was like life coaching really it was about being a better person it was about working with different types of people it it was i mean i am I am not an airy fairy person. I'm not, I am quite cynical, quite, you know, I will, it's the Londoner in me, but um, it actually was life changing. It doesn't, everybody should do it. It wouldn't have mattered what industry we were in. That day was incredible, absolutely incredible. I really, I feel like they need to, roll that out to the world. I totally agree. I absolutely agree because so much of what we learn in our company is self-development and you can take it in any area yeah. of your life. And the way that, that they really and truly believe is that if you take care of your 
you know, your psyche, your, your mind, body, and soul, everything else will fall into place. And they believe in making us the absolute best version of ourselves that we can possibly be. That's their mission. That's their goal. And I'm so it's glad kind that like, you all felt the same way. It's kind of like the amazing products is, is just happens to be there. Everything else is about helping us succeed, helping us, you know, not get what we want from it, but building a better life for ourselves, whatever your way is, how you're going to get there. Yeah, it was I it think was you cut out amazing. on me. Yeah, and you've cut out on me. <laughs> Are you still there? I think we've frozen. Let's see. I'm going to make sure everybody can hear us. Are you still there? Yes, you're you're breaking up just a touch. Let's see. I'm going to make sure everybody can yeah. hear us. I've got it on delay now. <laughs> okay, now you're back. Okay, I've turned off my iPad, so maybe that was affecting it a little bit. Okay. Okay. How about that? Right. Yeah, I think so. Okay. Am I, am I there? You're here. <laughs> Good. Okay, that's uh, fine. Um, Okay, so um, how important was it to you to know that, um, because I know a lot of the questions that I received from you all was the whole vegan side of Lime Life and um, the, uh, the free of harmful chemicals part of our skincare. What is that like in the United Kingdom and what are people's mindsets about that? It's massive. It's absolutely massive people have really woken up to what goes on their skin goes in their body and the vegan side of it even though people aren't necessarily vegan they want to be really clear that nobody's been harmed or there's no animal ingredients in their beauty products so it's very important and it's and that was part of the problem before because that was one of the things we were promised and all of our customers and everybody we've spoken to, it was clear that that was what they wanted. So it is very, very important. And it's just brilliant that that's how we're going to be, you know, if not a lot of it is already. Yeah. You've frozen. Um, <laughs> so when we were speaking initially, when you guys were trying to... Oh gosh, it is. Well, that's just a part of, that's just part of doing live. You just never know when it's going to work or when it's not going to work. But we got the side-by-side -side part working. <laughs> mm. um, so yesterday, when, go, let me when I was speaking to Sarah yesterday. Point. Let's see. No, I don't think that, is that no better, is it? Okay. I was moving around to see if I can. Well, you're frozen, but I can hear you speaking. There okay. you are. <laughs> I'm back. Okay, I'm there you are. It. Maybe that. Maybe that did it. <laughs> Go for a walk. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so yeah, you're good now. Um, so one of the things that um, I found to be so funny was that you and I both have talked about this. We're not numbers people. We are not get that comp plan in our hands and understand every part of it and all that. We're just kind of take it as we go as when we need to know something, then we'll look at that comp plan and you and the, the team uh, Harmony Hive really forced me to have to learn our comp plan back and forth. And so I've had to study it so that I could answer your questions. And so what I find really, really interesting was that you didn't think you understood it because every time I would tell you something, you would come back and you would repeat it like, okay, I don't have this right because this is what I think you said, but that can't be right. But that is actually what I said. So comparatively, the comp plan versus other companies that you've been with, mind blown. <laughs> Absolutely. Because I am notoriously bad at comp plan things. I love sales. I am a salesperson. I love selling. 
but I'm not a numbers person. And I would read it and think, okay. And then I think, no, I can't possibly have understood that right because that's too good to be true. So that must mean that I've got it wrong. And then I would come back to you and yeah. say, so da 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 that card's not right, is it? And you say, yeah, that is right. It's like, okay, that's, yeah. that's good for me because it means I did understand it in the first place, <laughs> which I don't normally. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. So when, when someone is looking at um, a, a network marketing company to join, the main elements that they look at are the comp plan, are, are they going to pay me my worth? And then the other thing is the products and can I stand behind them? And you and your team have been able to try some of our products. So tell me what your um, experience is, has been with some of the products you tried. I love the products and I haven't tried very many, but I think the, the real proof in the pudding is the samples that I've given to my customers, they have absolutely loved them. Not, you know, I haven't even, so the skincare samples that we managed to buy from you or that we got sent over, I haven't even had people say to me, they're great, but it's not for me. Every single person with every single sample has loved them. So you've frozen on me now, Laurie. I, I hope it's a nice picture. <laughs> <laughs> they never pick the best ones to freeze at, do they? Oh, that's terrible. <laughs> it's, it's always an eyes closed or mouth open, isn't it? Yes, so if you yes, can hear yes. me, that's fine. I'll talk to myself. I'm good at that. <laughs> I hear you. <laughs> so, yeah. So, so the samples have been a game changer. They really have. I mean, I've loved the makeup that I've tried but I've only really tried all oh, the foundation is incredible mascara and tulip products but the skincare because we've had samples been able to do quite a lot um and obviously the skincare is a lot organic is so natural vegan not just on animals it's just perfect so a perfect fit for you all the way around oh always Absolutely. I mean, yeah, I mean, I am, I am here because, I mean, my why, if you like, is possibly a bit different to a lot of people's because um, I have a lovely house. I would, I don't need to move. I have a, an amazing life and lifestyle, but it comes at a cost because, um, my husband works incredibly long hours and is, I feel, working himself into an early grave. So this is my time and my chance to take the pressure off. And there is no other a industry. wonderful reason. Well, and there is no, no other job, no other industry that would allow me to be able to build a business that could do that around all my other commitments exactly exactly that's the way that's exactly the position that i am in my husband works very very hard and i want to give back so that he can cut back and do only the things that he really has passion about with his work and then you know just give him a little bit of a break so i i completely understand your why Absolutely. thank you for sharing that that's my pleasure is there you'd, anything that you'd you love yeah, is it? Is it? You've gone again, Laurie. <laughs> oh, damn. that is a hideous picture. I tell you, I'm looking at my iPad right now, and that's scary. Um, okay, so is there anything? I was going to keep it up from you. <laughs> I haven't screenshotted it. Um, okay. Now you're frozen. Is there anything that you would like to leave um, with your network? Any final words that you would like to say to your network? In terms of, I think the thing that back, let's face it, network marketing, it's a level playing field. You get back what you put in. 
Uh, what's the saying? You either you either are an entrepreneur or you work for one. That's that's how it is. So the big thing for me is that in this industry, you get back what you put in. If you work really hard, you benefit from that. And the amazing thing with what we're doing is we can help other people and, you know, lean down and bring our team up with us. And that that's pretty special to be able to do that. Yes, it Anybody is. Anybody there? <laughs> <laughs> okay. So I think that we will bring this to an end because we're having some issues with the Wi-Fi. But I, again, just thank you so much for joining me. I am so looking forward to getting this launch off the ground and working with you and your team on a consistent basis. It's going to be amazing. Oh, it is. We've, I, yeah, I've just, it gives me goosebumps. I just think we've, we've got such amazing times ahead. Absolutely. And we'll come, and we'll come over to you next time. Definitely. I'm looking forward to that. That would be so awesome. <laughs> okay, Maxine, thank you. And I'll talk to you soon. All right. Great, Laurie. Cheers. Bye.